In today's video, I'm going to be talking about budget-friendly, CG-friendly products that are available in India. As always, every product that you see in this video is cruelty-free. I did a video on this topic last year. This is like a 2022 edition. We have so many new additions to the CG-friendly category now in India. There are so many products that I have to cover in today's video. And so I'm going to be moving really fast. If you have any questions on any product, and you need details, feel free to leave your questions down below. I'll be happy to answer every single one of them. These are all of the shampoos that come under the budget category listed from gentlest to the most cleansing. So the ones in the beginning have the least lather and the ones towards the end have the most lather. First, we have the Mom's Co Protein Shampoo. This is a low poo, which means that the shampoo doesn't lather up too much. It's a super gentle shampoo. This shampoo would be suitable for people who have a dry scalp, who have a sensitive scalp, who have an irritated, itchy scalp. It'll also suit people who work out regularly and therefore need to wash more frequently. Next, we have the Earth Rhythm Murumuru Butter Shampoo Bar. This shampoo lathers up a little more than the Mom's Co Protein Shampoo. It also has lactic acid, which helps on the pH of the formulation. Next, we have the Cures Lavender and Keratin Shampoo Bar. This is a very easy to use shampoo bar. It has a beautiful lavender fragrance. Last year, the fragrance of this shampoo would have triggered my migraines massively. But for some reason, this year, I've noticed that lavender doesn't bother me too much. But this is just a note for people who are sensitive to fragrances. Personally, I really enjoy the fragrance and my entire toilet smells so nice when the shampoo bar is exposed. It's a really nice hard shampoo bar. It retains its shape really nicely after use. This shampoo would be suitable for people who have a normal scalp. Next, we have the Mom's Go Natural Damage Repair Shampoo. This is a little more cleansing than the Mom's Go Natural Protein Shampoo. I feel like this shampoo is suitable for people with a dry to a normal scalp. It gives you a little more lather than the Natural Protein Shampoo. Next, we have the Saint Botanica Go Curl Shampoo. This shampoo is both cleansing and moisturizing. It is perfect for people who have a dry scalp type. My scalp is really oily and generally this is my winter go-to shampoo. I feel like Saint Botanica deserves some massive props for the formulation of this shampoo. I feel like they totally got the assignment. This is exactly what a shampoo for curly hair is supposed to feel like. And I feel like they have completely nailed it with the shampoo. If you have a super dry scalp, then you're really going to enjoy the shampoo. But if you have a super oily scalp, then maybe during summertime, this is not the right fit for you. Wait for the winter and then check out this shampoo. Next, we have the Saint Botanica Pro Keratin Shampoo. The entire Saint Botanica Pro Keratin range is not CG friendly. Only the products that I'm talking about today in the video are CG friendly. So just be careful about that. The Pro Keratin Shampoo is a cleansing shampoo. This is going to be perfect for people with a normal to oily scalp. Beginners to CGM are really going to enjoy this shampoo because it is super cleansing. It is reminiscent of the shampoos that you used before you started CGM. It gives you a lot of lather. It is able to remove a pre-poo oil. Word of caution, make sure to focus your pre-poo towards your scalp and also focus the shampoo only towards your scalp because if you shampoo from root to tip, then it's going to dry out your lengths massively. Next, we have the Bella Vita Growth Protein Shampoo. This is also a cleansing shampoo suitable for people with a normal to oily scalp. It lathers up really nicely and this shampoo is also able to remove a pre-poo. Next, we have the Bella Vita Oil Control Shampoo. This is an extremely cleansing shampoo. Let me emphasize that this shampoo is extremely cleansing. So if you're using this shampoo, my advice is not to use too much. Otherwise, you'll overstrip your scalp massively. Only focus a tiny bit on your scalp region. And of course, the shampoo can also be paired with a pre-poo. Next, we have the Fab India Aloe Vera Moisturizing and Cleansing Shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo which contains sodium laurel ether sulfate. Let me just elaborate. So this is a clarifying shampoo to be used only on clarifying wash days. Typically, I clarify once in a month. So once every four wash days, I use a clarifying shampoo. 
and then I complete my entire wash day routine. When I'm clarifying, I generally use a shampoo from root to tip. So all of the other shampoos that I spoke about today in the video, I only focus on my scalp region. But when it comes to clarifying shampoos and when it comes to clarifying wash days, that is the only wash day in which I focus enough shampoo. I take copious amounts of the shampoo and I focus it from root to tip and I make sure I really remove all of the dirt and debris and the buildup that's on my hair. I mentioned all of the shampoos that come under the budget category but out of all of those shampoos, these three are the ones that I recommend. So this is the shampoo that I would recommend to beginners because of how cleansing it is, because of how much lather it gives you. Because obviously when you start CG, you're not going to enjoy low pools too much. So this is a shampoo that you can easily start with because of how cleansing it is and because of how much lather it gives you. This is my top recommendation for people who have a dry scalp and need that extra moisturization. If you have an oily scalp, then this is my top recommendation for a winter shampoo. If you have a super dry, super sensitive scalp, that is irritated, then my top recommendation is the Momsco Protein Shampoo. Let me tell you a little story to explain what I mean. So my friend was a beginner to CG and she kept complaining that her scalp feels really raw, wearing her hair in a pineapple really hurts and her scalp feels really inflamed. And so I recommended the Momsco Protein Shampoo to her. At that point, she was a beginner and so she bought the shampoo but she told me that you know what, I don't like the shampoo at all, I just don't like it. So then of course she went on her CG journey, she's tried so many shampoos by now. She's on year one and a half and the other day I was speaking to her on the phone and she told me that you know what, I finally took your advice and I went back to the Mom's Co Protein Shampoo and finally I like it so much and my scalp feels so much better. Which is why I'm saying that maybe if you're a beginner, then the Mom's Co Protein Shampoo, any shampoo that's a low poo, is not going to be an enjoyable experience for you because obviously you're used to your shampoos lathering up a lot. And of course, we have this tendency to think that if a shampoo lathers, then it's cleaning my hair really well. And if a shampoo does not lather, then it's probably not cleaning my hair too much. Which is why I'm saying the Mom's Co Protein Shampoo, maybe that's not the best choice if you're a beginner. But if you've been on your CG journey for a while and you notice that your scalp feels really inflamed, then my best recommendation to you is to use the Momsco Protein Shampoo. Forget about the fact that it doesn't lather too much. Once you use it enough, you'll understand how amazing this shampoo is. Next, let's talk about conditioners. So these are arranged from lightest to heaviest. Choose based on your curl type and porosity. These are the ones with the best slip. These are the ones that are my top recommendations. The others I don't feel comfortable recommending. Now I know that choosing a conditioner can be super intimidating, which is why I'm going to give you some examples. This is Anka. She has low porosity 2A hair. To her, I would recommend the Momsco Natural Protein Conditioner. This is Gabu. Gabu has low porosity 3A hair. To him, I would recommend the Momsco Natural Damage Repair Conditioner. This is Alicia. Alicia has 3B low porosity hair. And her favorite conditioner to use is the Requil Babasu conditioner. This is me. I have 2B, 2C, 3A high porosity hair. And the conditioner that I enjoy the most is the Requil Babasu conditioner. This is my mum. She has 3A high porosity hair. And the conditioner that suits her the best is the Requil Murumuru damage repair conditioner. So essentially, out of all of the conditioners that are available in the budget range, these four are my favorites. These four are my top recommendations to you guys. I would not recommend any other conditioner. Typically, I feel like out of these four, you could use any conditioner and make it work for you. If you feel like the conditioner is too light, then use more of it. And if you feel like the conditioner is too heavy, then use less of it. All of them have really nice slip and I feel like you're going to be happy with your purchase. But make sure that you're clarifying regularly so that you don't get build up from your conditioners and your other products. Alright, next hair masks. So under the budget category, we have these options. Again, I've arranged everything from lightest to heaviest. So the lightest hair mask that comes under the budget category is the Bombay Shaving Company Onion and Egg Hair Mask. 
Then after that you have the Garnier Fructis hair food. This can be used as a conditioner, as a hair mask and also as a leave-in conditioner. And finally we have the Bella Vita Growth Protein Hair Mask. You also have the Nut Habit Fresh Hair Nutri Mask. So I picked this up, I checked this out, I used this twice but to be super honest it didn't really do much for my hair. So even though it falls under the budget category, this is not a product that I would recommend. So out of all of these hair masks, this didn't really do much for my hair so I'm not going to recommend it. The Bombay Shaving Company hair mask is just about okay. I won't say that it's super fancy. This Garnier hair food is my top recommendation because obviously it's a 3-in-1 product. If you're a beginner and you're on a budget, then I feel like the Garnier hair food is the best product for you to pick up because you can use this as a conditioner, you can use it as a hair mask and you can also use it as a leave-in conditioner. I personally love using this as a leave-in conditioner. This is also my top recommendation because you're getting 400 grams of product that is double of any hair mask or any hair product that you'll find in the market. If you're a beginner, you can use this as a conditioner, you can use this as a deep conditioner as well. If you feel like this is too light for you and you need something extra, then just add one drop of oil along with this on the palm of your hand and deep condition with it, you will have no problem. The Bella Vita hair mask, this is not something that I'm going to recommend to you at all. It is not on par with the other products that I'm talking about in this video. So I know that this video is a video on budget products, right? But all of the products that I'm recommending to you specifically in this video are products that are budget but they can also go toe to toe with other products that are way more expensive compared to them. So yeah, the Bella Vita hair mask does not come close. I tried to give the product so many chances but ultimately you know what, I feel like you're better off with the Garnier hair food. You'll find it on Amazon from around 471 to around 540 rupees. I feel like it is one of the best products that I'm talking about in today's video. Next, we come into leave-in conditioners, organized from lightest to heaviest. First, we have the Kateen Curl Defining Spray. Next, we have the Saint Botanica Pro Keratin and Argan Oil Hair Nourishing Spray. Then we have the Fix My Curls Leave-In Cream. I have the 250 gram bottle, but the one that comes under the budget category is the 100 gram tube. Then we have the Garnier Hair Food. And lastly, we have the Fix My Curls Curl Quenching Hair Butter. Again, I have the 200 gram tube, but the one that comes under the budget category is the 100 gram tube. I'll leave a picture of it right here. So out of all of the leave-in conditioners, the Garnier Hair Food is my main recommendation. This is a level 3 leave-in conditioner. If you watch my video on leave-in conditioners, then you'll know what I mean when I talk about levels of each product. So this is a level 3 product. I feel like it's going to suit so many different hair types. Moisture retention is really nice, shrinkage is really nice, shine and gloss is really nice. And so I feel like as a beginner, this is the product to invest in. I've been on CGM for such a long time and this has very quickly become one of my all-time favorite leave-in conditioners. And so I feel very, very comfortable recommending it to you guys. I also want to talk about some of the issues that I had with some of these products. So the Kateen hairspray, I used it in my flexi rod video, I'll leave it up here. This product, when I used it with the Kateen hair holding mist, then it did really well. But when I tried to use it as a prepping mist and I mixed it with another leave-in conditioner, that is when it became like a pilly, coagulaty mess. And so I feel like this product only works if you pair it up with the Kateen Natural Hair Holding Spray. I don't want to recommend this product to you guys. If you have 2A low porosity hair and you have trouble with leave-in conditioners, then the Saint Botanica Pro Keratin Hair Mist is a product that I would recommend to you guys. So the Fix My Curls Leave-In Cream, this is a level 2 protein product. It is not to be used on every single wash day. It's only to be used on protein wash days. I have a dedicated video reviewing the product. So what I've noticed is day one with this product is really nice. But post day one, there is so much frizz. And so I don't want to recommend this product to you guys. I have exactly the same issue with the curl quenching hair butter. 
from Fix My Curls. This is a level 4 product. It's a moisture product. It doesn't have any protein. On day 1, I noticed that my hair looks really, really nice. But on day 2, suddenly it has like an excess amount of frizz, which is why I don't want to recommend it to you guys. If you have 2A low porosity hair, then check out the Pro Keratin Hair Mist. And if you have any other hair type, I would say check out the Garnier Hair Food. Use a smaller quantity if you have like a looser curl pattern and lower porosity hair. And use a little more if you have a tighter curl pattern and higher porosity hair. I feel pretty confident that you're going to be able to make the Garnier hair food work for you. And so out of all of the leave-in conditioners that I've spoken about in this video, this would be my top recommendation. Next, we have budget products that give you hold. In this category, we're going to find hairsprays, hair mousses, and of course, hair gels. I recently did like a super detailed video on gels that are CG friendly in India. And so I'm not going to spend too much time on these products. Let me just run through all of your options that come in the budget category. First, you have the Katine Hair Holding Mist. You saw me use this in my flexi rod video. I also did an Instagram reel where I showed you exactly how well my hair held up during the week. As a beginner, I feel like you're really going to enjoy this product. Next, we have the Enliven Mousse. You've seen me using this product in so many videos. This is a mousse that I really, really like and I would definitely recommend to you guys. Next, we have the Alps Goodness Hair Gel. This is not a gel that I recommend to you guys because I didn't enjoy it much. Then we have the Fix My Curls Hair Defining Gel. This is a protein gel that comes in the budget range. But again, this is not a gel that I would recommend. My top recommendation to you guys if you're looking for a hair gel in the budget category would be the Fix My Curls Curl Quenching Hair Jelly. This gives you really nice hold. It's a medium hold gel. I've spoken about it in detail in my video on gel. So definitely check that video out before you pick this up. But basically, if you're looking for a gel, then this would be my top recommendation to you. All right, so that was pretty much it for this video. I know I sped through the products, but that is only because I've had so many products to cover in this video. Great news for people who follow CG because look at how many options we now have in the budget range. I'll leave all purchase links, discount codes and stuff in the description. So definitely check that out if you're looking to make a purchase. None of the products mentioned in today's video are sponsored. If you have any questions on any of the products that I spoke about in this video, feel free to leave me as many questions as you want. I'll make sure to answer all of them in detail. That was pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video and you gained value, make sure to give this video a thumbs up because that really helps this channel grow. And if you're looking for more product recommendations, feel free to check out these videos right here.